When I left Bay City, I thought I'd lost you completely. But I never said that, Iris. But nothing made any sense. If I wasn't your daughter, Iris Corey. I told you then that made no difference to me. You're my daughter no matter what happens, Iris. But I... it made a difference to me! I felt as if I'd lost the one thing that had kept me grounded all my life. Iris, I'm not going to listen to any more. Daddy, we please, both you have to listen. It for the rest of our lives. Daddy, all I've ever wanted ever since I was a little girl was to please you, to make you happy. And how could you do what you said that you've done? Because I wanted to do something for you. I wanted to do something grand. I wanted you to see that your life was so much better with me in it. Iris, I died last summer. When I was in that jail cell, I just thought I'd lost everything of value in my whole life. And I would never have let that happen. I would have stopped them. I saved you, Daddy. Don't you see? I saved you. Oh my God. Oh, my God in heaven. What kind of monster have I raised and loved and cherished? Oh, God in heaven, I can't stand. What? Next time you open that door, find out who's there first. How'd you know where to find me? Does it matter? Look, I've got nothing to say to you. Yeah, I figured you'd say that. You're just wasting your time. And this is my place. If, if I want you to go, you have to go. Josie, I came here because your mother is very worried about you, and you're too angry to see things right now. Oh, come on. Things just seem pretty clear to me. Shut the door. Josie, I care about your mother. I care about her a great deal. In fact... Well, don't bother. I, I already know. You know what? I saw the deed to your boat in our kitchen one day. When? Right after Uncle... It doesn't matter when. I saw it. Well, so what? Your mother needed help. Help? Help? She needed money, John. And we both know she knows where to get that. Now, you wait a minute, Josie. It's a nice little arrangement you two have, you know? She sleeps with you, and you gave her money. A little boy killed Noah. I didn't mean to. I... I you've been carrying this around with you for all these years? I was sure he was going to kill us both. I'll never forget the look in his eyes. And no one else knew this. I thought you did. No. Just before I took off, you were starting to come too. You, you were moaning and your eyes were opening. I started running and I didn't stop. Not for a long, long time. I guess we've both been running then, haven't we? I'm used to it now. What have you been doing? I mean, how do you live? Like I did then. I have to. Because of one night. No one would believe me. They'd lock me up for but life. Derek, you were just ten. It wouldn't matter. I scare people. Sometimes I don't mean to. You wouldn't understand that. You never scared anybody. And you came back here because you saw the articles on my life. You, you thought that I knew about them and that I would tell them. Is that that's what you meant, isn't it, when you said keep our secret? I thought you knew. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry you thought it was you. Derek, let me help you. You can't. Yes, I can. And people will believe you now. Do they believe you? Sometimes the truth gets twisted. That's all. I, I try to help you, and it all gets turned around. The gun that I fired, you, you took that gun? I, I, I'll tell them. I'll tell them the gun they found wasn't your gun. You'll go free. And what happens to you, then? Doesn't matter. I... I mean, so many people have been hurt from this trial. John and Charlene and, and my husband. I mean, they tell the truth and, and it changes their lives. Fanny, in my life, anything I know about kindness, I learned from you. I'll do anything you want. I don't care what happens to me. Evan. Mac and I welcomed you into this house once before. I want you to know the offer still stands. You have a very special place in our hearts. Speech. Yes, speech. 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 There's, uh, there's so much I want to say to you, Rachel. Especially to you. Are you all right? I'm all 
don't you sit down, man? I should have. I should have stopped this a long time ago. <clears throat> stopped what? You, you, you've been so good to me right from the start. I just, I, I don't know, I never thought. Rachel, he really doesn't look well. I, know. I thought you'd be a bunch of snobs, you know, a bunch of bores. And with all this money, it would really make you ruthless. But... If, <clears throat> if you had, it would have made it <clears throat> so much easier. Evan, Evan! Watch his shoulder. You better call a doctor. Ah. Who's that guy? I thought we weren't going to bother each other. Anymore. I heard all this yelling coming from the place. That's another look, Ruben, thing. The look, walls are we may live up. in the same building, but I don't have to answer to anyone anymore. Anyone. You got that? All right, all right, fine. I got that. Fine. You deal with your life and I'll deal with mine. It's fine with me. Only it's my fault that you're here in the first place. You know, I don't want some farm girl's breakdown on my conscience. I got enough problems as it is right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. You got thugs waiting to break your kneecaps. No one's gonna bother me. Well, you just couldn't wait to say that now, could you? If I hadn't scared those guys off, you'd be in traction right you now. Know, I don't need some kung fu farm girl to fight and for me. And that's another thing. I am sick and tired of hearing you call me farm girl. But is that what you is? Look, Ruben, this, this macho routine you got going, it's... It's very unattractive. Now, what would you know about that? Times have changed, Reuben. Women don't need men to get by anymore. Oh, do tell, Gloria Steinem. I am not my mother. I'm not. And I'm not going to let anyone walk all over me. You got that? OK. All right. All right. I'm going right now, all right? Fine. Just don't call me every time you see a cockroach tonight, all right? Cockroach? Yeah. Big, brown, shiny things with wings on them. I, I can handle it. And cockroaches don't have wings. Oh, these do. Big ones, too. You know, if I were you, I would think about investing in a stun gun, because bug repellent ain't going to do it. You know, you're the only pest I have to worry about. OK. All right. Well, sleep tight. Don't let the bit bugs bite. And will you please lock the door? I really have some thinking to do. Do you think you could keep our secret for just a little longer? Whatever you want, Fanny. You know, I'm, I'm starting to remember more now. About what? You used to wear a baseball cap, right? It was a, a Cubs cap. Yeah, I wore it all the time. I, I found it in the garbage bin. Right, it was filthy, and you used to wear it really down low on your eyes. <laughs> and you used to say, Derek, how can you see where you're going with that dirty old cap over your face? <laughs> if you don't watch out, you're going to be wandering in traffic one day if you're not more careful. I remember. It's so good to talk to you and see you again. I haven't been able to talk about that night with anyone. You saved my life. Thank you. Best thing I ever did. Look how you've had to live because of it. You. And now you're willing to come forward about Jason, even if it means... Confessing to Noah's. I'm ready, Fanny. I'd do anything for you. Didn't we have this the other way around just a few days ago? You were the one that was sick. You should never have left the hospital so soon. Well, I need to miss a party. <laughs> no more partying. They're bringing my father's car around. Take you back to the hospital. Okay. I'm going with you. No. Somebody has to go with you. No, I want you to stay here. Why won't you let me help you? Because I can't. You know, you're being a real pain about this. There's Sam. Would you call him over here? I want to tell him something. Sam. Come here. Could you, uh... Leave us alone for a minute, please. I don't know why you're being so stubborn. Come on. <clears throat> um, would 
you do me a favor? What? Don't let Amanda go back to the hospital with me tonight. And don't let her come visit me here. Evan, I don't think Amanda's gonna buy that. Promise me. Why? Because she has to get on with her life and with you. Okay, I'll tell her, but I really don't think that she's gonna listen. Make her listen. Evan, Amanda feels responsible for what happened to you. She wants to help you. Yeah, but I can do it on my own. I need to, okay? I don't need any help. All right, I'll tell her. Daddy, look at me, please. I can't, Iris. Just go. Look, I know it was a stupid thing to do. I just, I wish I could take it all back. Did it never occur to you to just come to me and tell me that you needed me? I didn't think that would work. That's what it all boils down to, isn't it? What works for you? What gets you what you want? I thought it was what you wanted, too. I mean, everything would have been all right if I hadn't had to tell you. You frighten me, Iris. You really do. You don't know right from wrong, do you? Right is when you get what you want. Wrong is when you don't. Well, yes. Iris, your whole life, you see it like some giant chessboard. Everybody that comes into it is just a pawn for you to manipulate, darling, for you to, to use to get your advantage. And the terrible, terrible thing is you're not capable of caring how much you hurt anybody else in the process. I care about you. I tried so hard to please you. I think I understand now, for the very first time, what all the others went through. What others? Well, Rachel. Well, all the people that have loved you in your life, the people whose love you could only see as a weapon to bludgeon them with, all in the name of your great love. Iris, you don't know the meaning of the word love. Iris, love is trust. You love no one but yourself. Daddy, I loved you. Daddy, it's over. Can't we please just, just, yeah. Go back to the beginning. I needed you to know how much I loved you! But I don't even know you. <laughs> oh, Daddy, it's me. It's Iris. <laughs> I love your daughter. <laughs> Don't take. <laughs> Don't take that away. No, Iris. <laughs> the daughter I knew. The daughter I loved. She's dead, Iris. 